Hi, and welcome to the lesson 15. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the marketplace design, the tools, techniques, and practices on how to work on the design of your marketplace. Design is not just about how your marketplace looks. It's not about the colors you use. It's not about how your menu looks. Design has a direct impact on your customer's shopping experience. How convenient your storefront is, how easy it is to navigate through your marketplace, and so on. A bad, outdated design not only makes your marketplace look inaesthetic, but it also badly influences the trustworthiness of your business. But bad design is not always evidence of a non-trustworthy business. Sometimes it's just bad design because the company doesn't care too much about its online shoppers. Take Zara, for example, a large fashion retailer. Their website is absolutely inconvenient. It's more like a fashion photo gallery. You only see random photos and no navigation at all. And now see a similar fashion website created with CS card, House of CB. Although it also has large photographs like Zara, all the navigation is much more convenient and visually stands out. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about essential practices on how you can play with the design of your marketplace and what functionality your marketplace software must have to allow you to do so. Okay, you basically have two ways to design your marketplace. First, you can do it all by yourself with no-code tools like visual editors, theme editors, and so on. And the second way is to hire a developer to develop a custom theme for your marketplace or use a ready-made third-party custom theme. In this lesson, I'm going to focus on the no-code tools because at the start, the budgets are often very tight and not every startup has money to hire a developer team. And if you have a developer team or you have money to hire one, that's just fantastic. So to be able to modify the design of your marketplace, make sure that your marketplace software has these three features. The first feature is a set of no-code tools to change the design of your marketplace. This could be visual editors, theme editors, layout editors, well, landing page builders and so on. The second feature is open code and API. This will allow you to develop a custom theme for your marketplace or upload a third-party ready-made custom theme. And the third feature is a big developer community where you can hire a good developer to make a custom theme according to your specs. So let's start with no-code designing tools. When I say no-code tools, I mean that you don't need a developer to change fonts, colors, logos, banners, layouts, and other visual elements on your storefront. You can do it all by yourself in the built-in visual editors. No-code design tools save you a lot of time and money when you want to experiment with the storefront's look and feel. Like instead of paying a coder, you can change the color scheme and layouts manually to find the combination that works best for your customers. The best thing about no-code tools is that you can change design right on site and see how it looks right away. At least, CS Card has this opportunity right out of the box. You can literally make the layout of every page unique, all without writing a single line of code. It's also great if your sellers can use no-code tools to design their microstores as well. They can make their storefronts look unique to represent their brand and products. But be careful and control your sellers so that they don't deviate from the general visual style of your marketplace. Important! When playing with colors and fonts, pay attention to the color theory and typography. Color theory is a series of concepts that are used to create compatible color combinations uh, that are pleasing to the eyes and other senses. It helps you understand what colors and why work or don't work with each other and use this knowledge to create a visual effect that you want. Show your brand's personality through typography. Imagine visiting a website only to find out that the product description is too small and the navigation text is light and it almost blends with the background. A typography style like this will make your customers run away from you. See Zara again. You just can't read text on their website comfortably. It's too small and blends with the background. You need to use typography to express an overall feeling about your business. See Wikifarmer, a marketplace for farmer produce built with CS card. Its visuals and typography greatly represents that cozy and warm summer village feeling. Now let's go more into sales and talk about quick creation of beautiful, professional-looking landing pages. You need landing pages to promote products, to announce sales like Black Friday, to run MVP experiments, to launch new products and whatnot. 
Normally, creating a beautiful landing page from scratch requires front-end skills and sometimes even programming skills. And it inevitably leads to more spendings. And you don't want it. You just want a beautiful, professionally looking landing page, fast and free. Unfortunately, not all the marketplace platform allow for creating a professionally looking landing page. CS Card is one of few that have this opportunity. So I'm going to demonstrate the landing page creation process with CS Card. We'll do it with a third party landing page builder called Tilda. CS Card integrates with it by default. Tilda is a great tool to create beautiful pages from scratch with ready blocks. To get started, you need to subscribe to the business plan in Tilda. This plan offers you API keys to integrate with CS Card. So, what you need to do is to create a project in Tilda and a page you want to incorporate into your marketplace. Here's the Academy project, and here are the lessons. Now you copy API keys from your project and insert them to the tilde add-on settings to have the tilde project available in CS Card. Now you just create a new page from tilde and apply some settings. What's cool about this integration is that you can put CS Card blocks to the tilde page to give buyers an opportunity to buy a product right from the page. And here you go. The landing page is ready and available to the public on your marketplace. No coding, no special skills, quickly and efficiently. So that's basically how you can set up the design of your marketplace by yourself. And I have a pro tip for you. When designing a marketplace, you will definitely need logos, illustrations, banners, videos maybe. And instead of ordering those from an outsourced developer, you can try to make this stuff by yourself. There are plenty of online tools available for that and many of them are free. For example, I personally use Canva to make banners and illustrations all the time and it's free. I grab pictures from Pixabay and Unsplash and I use InVideo to make short promo videos. Now let's talk about another path to work on the design of your marketplace. A more complicated, expensive, a longer path but with a better results. I'm talking about custom design development. There are two options here as well. The easiest way to get a professional custom design for your marketplace is to buy one from a developer. Marketplace software companies often run their own markets where they sell add-ons, plugins, themes, apps, and we have one too. On the CS Card add-on market, you can get ready-made professional themes. For example, here's a uni theme, one of the most popular. The cool thing about this theme and all other professional made designs is that they are created by UI and UX engineers who know how to make a design that converts. Plus, some themes come with a bunch of handy add-ons to increase conversions, like this uni theme. The harder way is to order a custom theme according to your specs. This will involve a bigger budget, a team of designers and integrators and much more time. But in the end, you will get a design that is perfectly tailored to your goals. So, this lesson is over and I have a final pro tip for you. Once you have your design polished, think about creating Identica that has your visual style and represents your brand. Like the design for a conference booth, um, roll-up banners, printed one-pagers, t-shirts and so on. This will greatly help you with your marketing and brand recognition in the future. See you next time!